Hi everyone and welcome to the first video in our series on computer skills. Each of these short videos will focus on one or two computer skills that you will need in order to complete the research project that we will be completing later this term. The first thing we're going to be looking at is a fairly basic skill. Presumably, if you are watching this video, you know how to turn on and log into the computer. If that's a skill that you're still not sure about, let me know and I'll come and spend some time with you individually going through that with you. The next thing that I want to have a look at is actually shutting down the computer. Sometimes in class you'll be asked to shut down the computer. Sometimes you might be asked to log off. And sometimes you'll be asked to restart the computer or the computer itself will ask you to restart it. And I want to talk about the differences between those. So let's open up our start menu. Bring your mouse down to the bottom left hand corner to the start menu icon. And you'll see there's a shutdown button and there's an arrow next to that. If I hover my mouse over the arrow, a little menu pops up with a series of different options. The first option on this menu is the switch user option. And you can see that it pops up with a little piece of information telling us what that means. It tells us switch users without closing programs. This could be quite useful if you're at home on a computer or if you're sharing a laptop with somebody in class. You might be logged in, you might be working on something, and you might have to go away for a science lesson or for PE, but somebody else will be staying in the classroom and they will be using the laptop instead. This allows you to not have to close your programs, to leave them open, but means that somebody else can still use the computer and save their documents under their login. It's a very useful option, but we don't often use it. The next option on the menu is log off. This is the most commonly used one in the classroom. This means that the computer's not being turned off, it's just logging you out so that the computer is locked and so that no one can use the computer under your account and get up to any mischief or do anything on your account. This is very important with the laptops because they're available to all of the teachers in the school. You need to make sure that you log out of your computer at the end of every session so that no one else uses the computer and does anything on your account that might get you in trouble. The next option that you'll see is lock. This just locks the screen and means that to use the computer again, you need to enter your password. The next one is restart. Restart closes all of the programs that you have open, it shuts down Windows, and then it restarts Windows. So it shuts the computer down and then restarts it. Quite often, if a program has done an update, you'll be asked to restart the computer so that the update can take effect. Generally speaking, at school, the teachers will take care of this, but at home, you may see it pop up. Restart is not an option that we will use very often in the classroom, but at least now you know what it is. The bottom option, sleep, is not one that we'll use very often, so you don't need to worry too much about it, but you can see there what the text says and how it describes that. This is particularly useful for laptops. For us, we would most commonly use either restart, shut down, or log off. And it's important that you understand the difference because the option that you use will depend on whether you're using a laptop or a desktop, whether you're using the computer at the start of the day or at the end of the day. If you're using a computer or a laptop at the end of the day, you'll probably ask to shut down the computer, to turn it off overnight so it's not using electricity unnecessarily. If you're using a desktop computer at the start of the day, you might just be asked to log off to save the next class time. If you're using a laptop, you're probably asked to shut down the computer to save the battery life. So that's the first video, and that's helping you to understand the difference between shutting down, logging off, and restarting the computer, and when you might use each of these skills. We'll see you in the next video.